things I've heard all day. Michael Cohen on for, um, excuse me. Uh, Michael Cohen um, for, um, basically gave an interview about 45, and he basically said that, that 45 doesn't tell the truth, which he never does. <coughs> Michael Cohen on 40, um, 45's one-time lawyer and fixer says his former boss knew it was wrong to order hush money payments made during the 2016 um, presidential campaign to two women who say they had affairs with 45, but he directed Cohen to do it anyway to help to help his uh, um, election chances. Cohen also said in an interview with ABC News that aired Friday that the that the squatters repeated assertions that Cohen was lying about the payments and other aspects of his work for, for 45 were false. Um, Cohen says he knows the truth, I know the truth, others know the truth. The man does, the, um, 45 has never told the truth a day in his life. And it is said that should take responsibility for his dirty deeds. I said, well, you were working for him, so this is your fault. Cohen pled guilty to financial crimes, campaign finance violations, and lying to Congress about efforts to build a 45 tower in Moscow. His ABC interview appeared less than 48 hours after the federal judge in Manhattan sentenced him to three years in prison and imposed around $2 million in financial penalties. It appears to be part of an effort by Cohen to rehabilitate his reputation, which is in tatters. He is disbarred by people on both sides of the political spectrum. The legal campaign, the campaign finance violations for which Cohen faces punishment have raised questions about 45's own legal exposure. The violations relate to nearly $300,000 in payments made to two women, which are former Playboy model Karen McDougal and, and former porn star Stormy Daniels, who they say had sexual li li liaisons with 45. 45's own story about the payments has shifted over time. This week, he told Faux News that he never directed Cohen to do anything wrong, which technically in this way, this would be wrong. 45 claims that whatever he did, he did on his own, which is not true. Basically, Cohen basically came forward the other day and said that nothing was done without the direct direct um, direction of Trump. Or 45, sorry. He's a lawyer. A lawyer who represents a client is supposed to do the right thing. That's why you pay them all the money. Cohen told ABC that's wrong. I don't think there's anybody that believes that. Jeez. Cohen said, first of all, nothing at the 45 organization was ever done without the direct authorization from 45. Cohen then repeated what he said under oath in federal court in August that he acted on 45's orders. He directed me to make the payments. He directed me to become involved in these matters, including the one with McDougal, um, Cohen said. He asked whether 45 knew the payments were wrong. Cohen said, of course he did, but 45 doesn't like to take, doesn't like to take the fall. Um, but he said 45 wanted to hide the alleged affairs to protect his, elect um, his um, election chances. You have to remember at, 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 at what point in time that this matter came about two weeks or so before the election. Cohen said that what would have meant it appeared on the heels of the Access Hollywood tape in which 45 talk, talks about sexually assaulting women and says that you have to get away with it because you're a celebrity, which 45 isn't really a celebrity, he's just a fucking pig. He was, um, 45 was very concerned about how this would affect the election. Um, after the, after, um, the story broke, 45 went on Twitter and had a tweet storm, or like, or, or what I should say, a shit storm. Um, and tweets Thursday, 45 said Cohen had pled guilty to two of the criminal charges against him to embarrass the president and get a much reduced, the, to embarrass the squatter and get a much reduced prison sentence. In his ABC interview, Cohen rejected those accusations, saying they're absolutely not true. I did not do it to embarrass the squatter, Cohen said, and under no circumstances do I want to embarrass the United States of America. When reminded what 45 had also had also repeated those claims in an interview on Info News, Cohen called the remarks inaccurate. Here's the truth. The people of the United States of America, the people of the world, don't believe what he's saying, Cohen said. Re reiterating something he said in court Wednesday, Cohen said he feels unburdened by acknowledging what he said. Yep.